Hey guys, today I want to talk about an important part we come to on our spiritual path. And this is when we've been on the path for quite some time and we've, we've you could say, had, had a few awakenings, we're in touch with presence, we are seeing that we are presence. And there comes a point where it's important that we just stop, just stop and stop taking in information, stop reading books and stop trying to seek more because we get to a point where we, we don't need to seek anymore. We've seen the truth. But there's this like habitual habit in us to still like think there's more and there's it, there's, it needs to go deeper and I need more understanding. I need to keep clarifying everything. And this is a, a trap of the ego that keeps us in a mode of seeking, perpetu yeah, perpetual seeking, even after realization. And it's just, it's just an old habit. And we need to go against that habit. Um, particularly if you're, if you're like me, you might spend a lot of, I spent a lot of time, particularly in the beginning phases, just reading every single book on spirituality, watching video after video. And I still, still do because I'm, you know, pretty obsessed with this, this topic. But lately I've just been just letting go. And what I mean by that is not, is just sitting in, sitting in that silence, sitting in presence, being presence, not engaging the mind, not trying to understand, not trying to make it go deeper. Because eventually we don't need the mind anymore. You know, the process becomes a, just an inner process that doesn't need the mind's use anymore. Until, I guess, until it does again. And this is where surrender, surrender kicks in. And we can ask us, start to ask ourselves, what, what if I just let go? What if I stop trying so hard to be something more to make it deeper, to get better at meditation, to have deeper insights. What if I just let go completely? Just started to fall into that silence, that unknown, and bathed in it. And it's important that we, we do this at some point during our practice and maybe after a while we feel called to pick the books back up again but to just almost get let go of spirituality itself let go of watching videos and you know maybe even if you feel called to even practice just let it all go and let the whole of that your life become practice itself see we we get so carried away with trying to put spirituality or even our, our realization into a box that we can understand and the more we try to do that the further away we get from that truth that we've become in touch with the the mind it always wants to grasp and hold on to everything everything it comes across and it wants the mind almost in a way craves just some sense of stability it wants realization and it wants to hold on to it. it wants to put it in this box of understanding so it can 
to try hold on to the more you try to do this the more you keep seeking to clarify to understand and you know make it sense of what what this truth is the further away we get from it because we're just doing what we've always done putting reality in a box you know maybe used to put reality in a scientific box or a religious box and now we're putting reality in a non-dual box and trying to you know grasp onto it so it's important that we go through a period in our spiritual life of letting go when we feel called to it when we've just been reading book after book after teacher after teacher after teacher it's like can i just let go into that into silence and just rest and not think not think about things too much it's hard to completely stop thoughts but not try to conceptualize and think and just notice when we're doing this and just stop let go of the mind stop using words stop trying to understand it's exhausting and just sit there and be and don't don't do anything we just sit there and enjoy a nice cup of tea And just don't give the mind any energy. Let it let the thoughts play on. Saying this, saying that, trying to convince you, trying to convince you of that, and just surrender into the moment. Just any time anything arises, there's just thoughts. Just go thoughts. Thoughts arising. And they're usually about past or future. And the thoughts. Time. Time is just a thought. Past and future, just thoughts. Everything, everything where reality itself, it's all almost just thoughts made up of the mind. So when we let go of that, we fall into the unknown, as in unknown by the mind. And only known to itself, or however you want to put it. And just sit there and rest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.